Hello everyone. Um, what we what we're gonna do today is we're gonna create a a, a Google Classroom homeroom, and basically uh, what the Google Classroom homeroom is gonna do is it's gonna uh, it's gonna house all the links to these other Google Classrooms that we have. So homeroom one will be where teachers have their own separate Google Classrooms, and they're just posting their assignments uh, with quick links uh, in the homeroom. And the other homeroom here, homeroom number two. Uh, this uh, example will be where all teachers are working together. You know, they're all co-teachers in the same homeroom. The only thing with uh, with this one here, I, I wouldn't recommend using grading, um, and that's okay because most teachers don't use Google Classroom for grading anyway. Um, you know, there, there's a, Google has a lot to work on with the, with this uh, with grading. So let me just show you an example what the first homeroom looks like and, and and what you can really do just so you can see it. So I'm going to click this uh, homeroom, and uh, just a heads up here. If you want to create a homeroom, you know, you just go to the plus sign, go to create class, and then you could just type in, you know, type in homeroom, and then you would just go to create to get started. So here's the homeroom. Now, the person, the teacher that, that, that created the homeroom, the homeroom teacher, um, the first thing they, 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 they would have to do is invite all the co-teachers. So they would go to people. And they would start inviting co-teachers. So you see right here where it says uh, teachers. It has my name right here. So now I would invite all the other co-teachers that, that are going to be working with this with this classroom. So I would go to invite teachers. You know, whoever whoever you want. Let's say, try this one. You know, you would invite as many teachers as as you like. Remember, it's going to be it's going to be great until the the teacher uh, until the teacher accepts. So. Invite them as co-teachers, and uh, once they accept as a co-teacher, any co-teacher will be able to go to classwork, and they'll be able to create an assignment. Okay, as a co-teacher, they they have the same you know abilities as a teacher. They can go, they can go to stream, and they can post in the stream. Okay, so that's in uh, that's in people. And if you make a mistake, you can always just go and you know remove that person if you invited the, the wrong teacher, or if they leave or something like that. So let's take a look here. So in, so we're in homeroom, and this is our stream. Now, if you go to classwork here, okay, you can see uh, at the top it says subjects, and if you go down here, it says like assignments. And uh, I'm gonna get into this in, in a second here. Let me go back. So at the top, I have all the different subjects. So so these are links to the Google Classrooms. Okay. So for example. I'm in a student in the homeroom here, homeroom 101, and if they want to get to, let's say, the gym class or let's say the art class, okay, from the stream, they could just go to classwork, they can go to the art classroom here, and right down here it says sign in. So if they just click the little link with art classroom, and I have an art classroom, okay. Okay, I have an art class here, so it's really going to be found in here. So they can go to the, they can go to this little link, and you'll see here on the side, it's going to say art classroom. Okay, see, so it's in art class. So it's really just, I'm creating a subject section for all my classes, and they just click on the little link here, and it'll take me right to my art class. So now you're probably asking, all right, so how, how did you do that? Well, let's say um, we'll go back to the, to the class cards page. Okay, let's go to the class cards. So this is the homeroom that we're working with. And let's say I want to add the biology class into the homeroom. I'm going to click on my biology. And then if you look in the top up here, I'm going to copy this link. Okay, this is the link to, to my classroom. Okay, so then I'm going to go back here you know, to my classes, and now I'm going to go to homeroom, having copied the link from the bio class, I'm going to go to homeroom, and I'm going to go to classwork, okay, and you see the subjects are at the top, okay, so I'll go to create, and I want to add my subject to, to these other subjects in the homeroom, so I'm going to make it a material, because it's not really an assignment, it's just a way for them to get there, so I'll call this biology class, I'll say, click the link to enter the bio Google Classroom. And then where I say add, I'm going to hit add because I want to add this link. I'm going to go to link. 
I'm going to paste that link. Okay, all I'm doing is pasting the link right up here. Okay, I'm pasting it right up here. I'm sorry. Right in here, going to add that link. Okay, and where it says topics, I'll put subjects because I want it to be in that subject. And then I'm just going to hit post. And now you can see there goes the bio class. So students in, in the homeroom can get to any of their Google Classrooms here, okay, because all I've done is, is as a co, you know, if you're a co-teacher, you come in here and you post that link. So here's the bio class, they click the link, and you'll see it's going to take me out of the homeroom, you know, where, where, where I was in homeroom, and it's taking me to, you know, it's taking me to the, to the bio class. Now, uh, uh, it says bio right up here. Now again, you want to stay. Uh, you want to stay organized, right? For I mean, you want to make it organized for these students. So not only, um, not only can you post, you know, a link to your to your classroom. You could also post, for example, like assignments. Um, so let's just say tomorrow's nine uh, nine fourteen, and you want to be organized for the students so they know it's nine fourteen. You probably should say the date like Monday nine fourteen, and you could see here that the art teacher created an assignment. It says Art Mickey drawing for nine fourteen. Now, this assignment is not actually used in the homeroom. The art teacher, if you take a look here, has their own classroom, and they have their own Mickey drawing here in their own classroom. Okay, they have their own, you know, uh, they have student work here, you know, so they can control grading, and, and, and it kind of keeps things separate here this way. So, um, what I'm going to do is, so, so let's say as, you know, as a reading specialist, uh, you know, this is the homeroom, and you want to post your your assignment into the homeroom and still have it go back to your Google Classroom. Well, what you're going to do is, and let's just, we're, we're just going to use Bio for now, right? Well, we'll go to Classwork here. We'll use Bio. Um, I'll, I'll pick an assignment. Uh, we'll, we'll do the science research here. So, so this is an assignment I created in, in my own Bio Google Classroom, and I want to post it to the homeroom. So I'm going to go right here and I'm going to hit these three little dots. Looks like a snowman. Okay, so I'm going to hit the snowman and I'm going to go copy link. So I'm copying this link here, okay, to this assignment. Now I'm now I'm going back into the homeroom and I want to paste, you know, I want to paste my biology assignment in the homeroom assignment. I'm going to go up here to create, okay, and I'm going to go to assignment. And you always want to be organized, right? So we'll call it a science research. Uh, let's say number one. And you could always put, you know, you could always put the dates here to stay organized, even though, you know, they still have the dates, but, you know, if you want to. Uh, please do the work. And then again, where it says add, okay, you can go to link. And I'm pasting this link here. Again, this is the link I got from my biology class. Okay, all I did was go here, and it goes to copy link. So it's a science research thing. You know, here's what the assignment looks like in the bio class. Okay, you know, there's the student work, there's the instruction. So I'm just copying that link here. Oh, you can always get it from the snowman. And I'm posting it now in the, in the homeroom class. And as a topic, you know, I'm going to post it on, on that day because you want it to be organized for the students. So it's 914 and you can put a date. Um, remember here, you know, you could you could select it to be if you click the students here. I, I don't have a lot of students, but you could choose if you want maybe just two students to get this assignment. You know, maybe not everybody's pretend this is a speech class. Maybe not everybody's doing speech. Um, you know, then I'm going to hit assign. OK, and let's scroll down. And here you see the science research, here it is, okay? And students are gonna click here to sign in, and now it's gonna take them to, take a look here. Uh, just give it, it's gonna take them to the, the biology class where the biology teacher kinda has their own little separate thing. And it's kinda like just, you know, putting every, you know, it's basically just, you know, creating links. You're just really using links to take you back to your own classroom, but making it easier for the students and the parents because they could have so many different class cards and things like that. And I just wanna give some, some tips here about this, if you're using this this way. 
um, you see here, I, I think it's some some people use like a week. They'll do like 914 to 920. Uh, um, I think it's much easier to do dates, like just a single day. So you see how it says 910, 99. You know, once this thing starts starts getting really crowded, what you can always do is, you know, let's just say here you got a bunch of assignments. You could change this to, you know, you can rename this this section. You could just say, you know, after like a month goes by, maybe you want to, you know, combine everything. You can go September work. Uh, it should say work. And then you could really just, you could just drag the assignments into September work. And you could just continue to, you know, you could drag them. So that's September work. You can delete this. Okay. So this is like, you know, after a bunch of days of work, you know, and now you have the, the 914 assignments here. And this way, this is like another way you might want to do it. This is homeroom two. And in this example here, um, you're not using you're not having your own separate class cards and, and things like that. It's everybody just is working in homeroom in this one, in homeroom two. So you know, you can just, again, the first thing you would have to do, the first teacher creates it, the homeroom teacher creates it, or, who, you know, whoever is assigned homeroom. They go to people. They can add teachers. Just go to invite teachers. You know, I'll just use, like, a student for now. You know, invite all the teachers that are, that are going to work there. And once, you know, once these teachers accept, they have the ability to, to, to do classwork. They have the ability to do the stream. Okay. And, you know, here's here's what you can do you can have just like math new work and the math old work okay reading so you just separate by topics so you know you just would kind of create topics and, and you can always create topics here um, if you go to create I can go to create I can go right down here to topics so if you look here we have math and reading so let's say we have the gym teacher come in gym new and I think it's good to have new and old um, because it's, it's going to, you know, a lot's going to pile up. So we created a new topic for gym. And then you would go to create. And then the gym teacher would just start adding assignments. They can actually just create a topic here as well. But, you know, we, we did it the other way. And then they could just start saying, you know, push-ups. Uh, you know, do 100. Well, they can't do 100. I'll say 10. You know, and then, you know, just assign. And then all the teachers will just work within this homeroom. The the thing is, I, I you know, it, remember with, with grading using Google Classroom for grading, they really can't separate it into quarters. They're working on it. Um, I would just say just have separate grade, grade books. You can go, you can try to go into a you know the grade book and try to create different uh, like science ten percent class for to, and do all this, but I think it's going to create a big mess. So you know, use this what you can, but don't don't really worry about the grading too much. Just do the grading on your own. I, I use Google Classroom. I don't use it for the grading personally, um, because we have Genesis and, and we have you know, uh, you know until until Google Classroom you know figures out how, how to export these and into all, all all these other you know systems. Uh, you know, I, I just do it manually.